some tech companies are saying, let's create one bank, and I will be that one bank, and, and I'm going to make it so secure that everybody's money is going to be safe. The vault walls are going to be very thick. The passwords are going to be super long. And you should all rest assured I'm on the case and everything will be secure. I personally think that's really dangerous for the Internet to make any one bank in charge of anything, especially when it comes to data and privacy. There's a reason why society and governments would never accept any one bank controlling all the money. So let me give you an example that might make this a little bit more clear. So when Google says we're getting rid of third-party cookies, there's a bunch of people that stand up and say, you're doing this in self-interest because the open internet has largely been dependent on third-party cookies and you are not dependent on them because of the billions of logins that you have. And then some start to point and say, this is an abuse of power. You have some advantage uh, because of a near monopoly on the internet that should not be used to hurt the rest of the internet. And that puts Google in a very difficult position. To understand Google's move, first you have to understand why Google is not dependent on third-party cookies. As you know, in fact, probably almost everyone who is watching this has some form of Google login. There are billions of Google logins, whether it's your Gmail account or whether it's so that you could log into any of the other services that Google offers. Because they have that login, and also because you use that login to access Chrome, which apparently something like 75% of internet users use Chrome. So when you're logging in, you no longer need a third-party cookie in order to provide relevant advertising. Because that is based on a Google login in a Google ecosystem, and because they're asking consumers to trust them with so much data, including everything that you search for, it creates a really difficult burden for Google to never share any of that data or insight. So that actually makes it very difficult for Google because when they go to marketers and say, share with me your first party data, the insights about users, and we'll help you keep it safe. They can never give back to the marketer anything that can be used outside of the Google ecosystem. And so what that does is it makes it so that it's a one-way street. And that's why it starts to feel like they're asking you to put a whole bunch of data into one place um, without ever letting that come out. And instead, I think it's better, even if some of those uh, companies have slightly less protection, to take risk one relationship at a time and instead create a framework to inform consumers so that they can uh, determine per relationship where they want to invest their trust. And by doing that, we'd never centralize all the risk. With this distributed way of thinking about privacy and data, we actually create the very safest internet, but it also creates the most empowered consumer that any reasonable model can create.